What up internet and happy Friday. We have a brand new 2024 Forest River Cherokee Alpha Wolf 26 DBH. In my nearly eight years here, I've had more people get happily involved with this floor plan versus any other. It's truly the perfect mid-sized bunkhouse floor plan. It's 31 feet, eight inches from the bumper to the tongue and only weighs about 6,300 pounds empty. So a lot of questions that I get are, what's the difference between a gray wolf and an alpha wolf? So just real quick, this is a gray wolf. It's got a traditional style construction. It's got the corrugated aluminum siding, whereas the Alpha Wolf has a laminated sidewall for better insulation and also lighter weight. Also, the main framing on the Alpha Wolf is gonna be aluminum versus the wood. Now, there's nothing wrong with this traditional design. By volume, we do more of these than the laminated sidewalls. However, if you want better insulation, if you want a fully heated and enclosed underbelly for those cold, seasons that we have coming here in Texas, when you have your furnace on, it prevents your plumbing from freezing. And then you also get a full pass-through storage, but that is the overview on this 26 dBH. Starting out up front, we do have an electric tongue jack. All you have to do is press and hold and it'll go up and down, no hand cranking required. In case of a worst case scenario, it does have a manual override right here. Just pop this cap off and you can rotate it so you won't get stuck with or without your RV. We make sure at Cliff Jones that we have the propane tanks filled up, ready to go. The battery is pre-installed from the factory as we have built-in solar. By the way, Cherokee is really one of the first brands to pioneer built-in solar. So they're revamping the solar system. As you'll see here, it works even better and offers more capacity as well if you want to go off grid. So everything that's on right now is going to be running off of the battery and the solar panel. So with the solar setup, you can run your power tongue jack. It does have electric stabilizer jacks. So you can run those as well. The radio, the fridge, the lights, and the fan in the bathroom, and you'll see all that working just on solar power today. And by the way, also with our pricing, no hidden freight charges, no hidden make ready charges. I'm getting feedback from customers right now that some dealers have $7,900 of hidden fees, whereas we don't do that. So right over here, we have your main storage compartment. This is a full pass through plenty of space with some other floor plans. You're gonna have the water heater there so it doesn't go all the way through. So you have nearly double the storage in this compartment. And then this is gonna be the solar controller right here. This one has definitely been beefed up versus the last ones that were available. And we also have motion sensing lights too. So as soon as you walk up, the light comes on. You don't need a flashlight if you're navigating through your storage early in the morning and late at night. Also with these doors, these are slam baggage doors. They have magnets instead of clips. So it's super easy to open with one hand. Coming down here, we have a leash latch. If you want to bring your four-legged friends along, you can keep them tethered nearby. And then these are the electric stabilizers. All I have to do is press and hold, and they'll begin to go down. No hand cranking required. Another neat feature while we're here in the corner is that this RV is prepped for multiple cameras. So you can put a camera on the back, and then you can also put them on the side as well if safety is important to you while you're driving down the road. Another thing I like to point out is that we have solar tint on the windows. This offers more privacy and more energy efficiency versus not having it. Here at the main entrance, we have a friction hinge door. So with other RVs that are more affordable, the door just swings either way with the wind, but this will hold itself open and you don't have any clips to latch the door. So that's one less thing to break on the outside as well. Here we have a large electric awning. It's got blue LED lights. And the great thing is it pretty much covers the whole coach. So it goes all the way down. So only this area right here is not covered by the awning. So really great coverage there. So you can stay nice and cool when it's 107 outside as it has been this season. Here we have an extra, extra large door handle. Cherokee always had big door handles, but they brought, uh, dropped this handle down even lower. So it's super easy for people of all ages to get in and out. And then also we have these new steps. They're super lightweight. These are gonna be the Lippert steps. So they're really easy to pop into the door there when you're ready to travel. You just have a little lock right here. And previously they had pins located either on the front or on the back. So what I really like is that all you have to do to adjust your steps is pull this little handle and you can bring them wherever you want so they sit perfectly. Right over here, we have the outdoor kitchen. This has everything that you need and more, a compact fridge for easy access to food and drinks, an ice maker. This is gonna be a spray port. If you saw that blue hose in the front storage, this is pops on right here and you have a cold water outside so you can wash your feet off and keep your, your camper nice and clean. This is a non-plumb sink. We have a two burner cooktop here and then we have a furnace here as well. So this is your intake and exhaust. So on those cooler days, if you wanna gather some warmth, you can just have your furnace on and stand right here. It'll be nice and cozy and warm. Here we have the dual axle. This does have upgraded wheels to match the rest of the aesthetic of the camper. And by the way, I just love the new graphics that they came out with on the 2024s. It looks super sharp, really clean. You also have marine grade speakers on the outside as well. You can play music just inside, just outside or both. And then you also have coaxial connection and power here too, if you want to hook up a TV. This door leads straight in to the bathroom. So great thing about that, if you're at the lake, if you're at the beach, you want to go to your bathroom, you can just walk straight in and not get the rest of your RV all dirty. Rear uh, electric stabilizers on the back too. 
We have the prep for the camera here, prep for a on the go ladder, which is really cool. We have those available in parts. It just hooks right on and the feet telescope down. It collapses to about this small, so it's not very bulky. It's super lightweight. Here on this Alpha Wolf, we have LED tail lights. They're much brighter and therefore much safer than incandescent bulbs and they'll practically last a lifetime. Right over here, we have the cargo rack. This is rated for 200 pounds total. So if you wanna put a generator, ice chest, bicycles, whatever you need, you can put that here. Coming around this way, here we have the tankless water heater. This one is available in 2023 models and 2024s, but as long as you have propane, you'll always have hot water. I know that's a big thing with RVs is not having enough hot water, having to turn your water off, turn it back on. But with a tankless water heater, as long as you have propane, it's super efficient and it'll keep your hot water going for a long time. We also have a convenience light outside here as well, so you can see your connections, no flashlight needed. This is a 50 amp service unit. We did order it with two ACs. We saw this summer, we definitely need it. So it's already ready to go. That's a $2,500 value. We also have prep for cable and satellite. If you want additional programming on top of the antenna that's on board, you can just plug in right here and it's ready to go. We also have the fresh water connection too. So if you're traveling down the road, if you'd like to pull over and use your own bathroom, all you have to do is turn the 12 volt switch on and it'll circulate water from the fresh tank. Here we have a black tank flush. Not all RVs have this. So with the black tank flush, it makes life really easy when it comes time to dump your black tank. All I have to do is make sure that your black gate is open, hook up the water and the nozzles, clean out the tank on the inside. Not only does it reduce smell, it also gives you more accurate tank readings. This is gonna be the city water connection. So if you have continuous water supply, pressurized water, just use a water pressure regulator and hook up here and it'll give you continuous water. We have a second outdoor shower. This has hot and cold water, which is really great. So we have two outdoor showers on this model. This is gonna be extra storage under the bunk as well. And then right below here, we're gonna have the termination point for the gray and black tank. So all you have to do is hook up your sewer hose, twist it on, and then dump whichever tank you would like. One thing I wanna point out on the slide, this RV has one slide. With the Alpha Wolves, they have a completely sealed slide. It's a cable-driven slide system. So as you can see, it's hard-sided. If you go up to some RVs, you can kind of push in the wall and loose, but this is totally sealed for better insulation. This is gonna be the other side of the pass-through storage. A nice thing about this is that you have a battery disconnect. So whenever you store your RV for an extended period of time, just turn that disconnect off and your battery won't deplete as fast. So that's gonna be it for the outside. We have blue docking lights in the cap as well to help see in front. And then one other thing I wanna point out talking about the cameras, you can have a back camera, a camera on your entry side, and then a camera on both of the uh, corners on the front, which is really neat. So here we are inside the 26 DBH. We have the slide open right now, but I just wanna take a second and show you how it looks with the slide in. This is definitely a great floor plan where you have access to the whole unit, even with the slide in. Okay, so here we go. Pretty easy to navigate even with the slide in. You can still open the refrigerator and the freezer. You still have access to the pantry and you have access to the bathroom. Of course, we have that second door. If you wanna come in and take a nap, if you wanna come in and eat lunch, you can do that even when you're pulled over on the side of the road with the slide in. So really full access to everything. Now we'll go ahead and pop it back out. And that's it, super easy operation. So as you can see, this slide takes up the majority of the living room. We have a jackknife couch that's super comfortable. These armrests pull right off. If you wanna convert it into a bed, all you have to do is lift up and it lays down just like that. And then you can also see that we have storage underneath here too. So if you wanna keep extra blankets, things like that, you can easily do that. Here we have the dinette. I know that 99% of my customers are gonna prefer the U-shaped dinette versus the traditional one. It offers sleeping for two adults and comfortable seating for four. Another great thing is that we have 40 inch drawers to go all the way back on both sides. So that's a super efficient way to get extra storage. Right over here in the back, we have the two super comfortable teddy bear mattresses. You can easily sleep two on each one. Something I like to point out about our models is that you have a reading light on the top and the bottom. 
you have power and you have USB as well, so you can keep your devices charged. And then another great thing is that we do also have storage on the bottom as well. And it's amazing how many RVs don't have a ladder at all to get to the top bunk, but with ours, you can rest assured that you do have it to make it easier to get off and on the top bunk. Coming to the bathroom, great size bathroom, plenty of room to change. This has a large shower with a skylight for additional headroom. This does feature a new style faucet head. It's got the rubber grip, so it doesn't slip out of your hand. And it's also got super strong pressure as well, and you can control the flow of the water if you want to conserve water. We also have hooks here for hanging towels, hanging clothes. And another thing I'd like to point out about Alpha Wolf is that we do have porcelain toilets as well, which is reserved for high-end RVs. We also have a medicine cabinet here, another motion sensing light, another ceiling light, GFCI power, dedicated sink, and storage underneath the sink as well. So one other thing uh, that I'd like to point out too is that we have a Max Air fan. It's one of the best fans on the market. It's got four speeds. If you get a Max Air guard and keep it on top, it prevents leaves from getting in, water from getting in, and you can have it open, have a window open, and it keeps your RV 10 to 15 degrees cooler. So when you wrap your destination, your ACs don't have to work as hard to cool it down. Right over here, we have the pantry, plenty of room for an extended stay here. You also have a light as well. This is gonna be the thermostat for the main AC, which is located right here. The great thing about this setup is that it does have a quick dump. So if you just get to your campsite, it's the middle of the day, all you have to do is open up this right here and it drops all the cold air down. Whenever you have it closed, it circulates throughout. It's much quieter and more energy efficient. And this is also how you control the furnace. So anywhere that you see a duct like this, that's where the heat comes from. And then you do have the fully heated and closed underbelly too to prevent your tanks from freezing. This is the 10 cubic foot all electric fridge that Cherokee has been using for a few years now. Um, really the trend with RVs is relying less on propane. So this is all electric, it's 12 volt. Because it doesn't have propane components, it offers anywhere from two to four additional cubic feet of space and it cools down super fast. Right below the fridge, we have the converter and the breaker box. If you happen to have an issue, all you wanna do is check your breakers here. And then of course, if a red light's on, that means the fuse needs to be replaced. Right over here, we have the microwave. It is a residential power to very quickly and evenly heat food. This range hood will work when you're cooking on the three burner cooktop. It also has a light built in as well. So the nice thing about this design is that it's recessed. So whenever it's cool, you can keep this down and it gives you extra counter space. When you roll it back, it acts as a backsplash. The rear two burners are for simmering, the front ones for boiling. And then we also have built in night lights as well. Here we have the oven. A great thing about this design is that you don't need a lighter to light the stove nor the oven. It's got built in igniter, so it makes it really easy. Over here, we have additional overhead storage. We do have a window here for cross ventilation. You do have a cover for the sink as well to maximize your counter space. And we do use a one piece undermount stainless steel sink, a farmhouse sink. It's very easy to keep clean and much more sanitary than plastic. We also have a serious high rise residential faucet here as well. So it makes it really easy to work here in the kitchen. We also have three drawers for utensils as well. And then coming around the corner, this is really the brain of your RV. This is the control panel. So you can control the slide as you saw, the awning, your lights. If the lights don't turn off with these switches, you just have an individual button like so. You can also operate the water pump. And then this also has the tankless water heater thermostat. So you can set whatever temperature you want. It'll maintain that temperature. And then we also have a voltage meter for the battery as well as we have the built-in solar. Right over here, we have the entertainment center. So you can mount most likely a 32 inch right here. This is gonna be the radio, it's a Bluetooth receiver. You can play music just inside, just outside or both. Storage for media here. When you're hooked up to main power, the fireplace will generate heat or you can just have a light show. And another cool feature that Cherokee is doing on this model is that we have a built-in vacuum to make cleanup nice and easy as well. You just turn it on, lift this up and sweep it right into the canister. So here we have the master. One thing that I really like about this layout is that we have real privacy doors. A lot of other RVs are gonna have the pocket doors where they slide in and out. But one of the problems with those is that if you mount a TV in the bedroom on this wall right here, you have to remove it while you travel so that way those pocket doors can go in. So the advantage of those is that you don't have to remove your TV when you uh, close the doors. And then also it gives you more walk around space right here, making it easier to get in and out of the bed and also to make your bed. That window is open, it's an emergency exit for cross ventilation. Here we have a large window as well with a shade. 
And then here we have the second AC installed, ready to go. You have nearly 30,000 BTUs of cooling with this setup. So over here in the bedroom, we have power on both sides and a nightstand for easy access to food and drinks. Great overhead storage here. And then we have the wards on each side for hanging clothes. And then you have this little drawer as well. And that's gonna pretty much be it for the Alpha Wolf 26 DBH. It just became available. Please be sure to like and share this video. And if you really liked it, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you have a great weekend.